Hello everybody and welcome to Jonesy Plays. I'm your host Jonesy and I'm going to be playing some of my favorite games for you on this channel. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe and don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Enjoy the videos. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your host Jonesy and we're back with Breath of the Wild. Um, so we ended here. We found all the shrines so now we're just going to go to them. Figure out which ones we gotta go to here. Uh, which one are we gonna do first? Still just love how this game looks. We'll go to this yellow one here first. Jump down. You know, at least this tower is nice like this. The rest of them aren't. We will have the paraglider for those, but still. Alright. We're going to call this episode 2 of the Great Plateau. Um, just because hopefully in this episode we're going to be finishing up the Great Plateau and just kind of um, going to get into the world. Go find Impa probably immediately. Hopefully find some other things. Get some more rubies, sapphires, opals so we can get some more money. That'd be cool. Money is always nice to have in this game. Especially right away I like to try to get the sneak suit. Ooh, what is this? A hot-footed frog. Nice. I like hot-footed frogs. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that one though. Ooh, ancient spring. I'll take some of. I'll take that. That's nice. Oh, not that though. Do I beat it up right away or do I run? Run. <laughs> I uh, I definitely couldn't run outrun that, so let's try to shoot it in the eye this next time first. Stun it a little bit. Alright, I think that's like the second death so far of the series. <laughs> Great Plateau is kicking my butt. Alright, we'll try this again. Okay, it sees me. <laughs> Man. I haven't played in so long, I'm just not having any luck. Okay, let's do that. Woo! That's one way to run away right there. Just skip all these cutscenes to get into these. Um... Man, which one is this? Stasis, maybe? I don't know. Bomb one? I can't remember. But here we go. Yep, bomb trial. Sheikah Slate Authenticated. Distilling Rune. Drip. Remote bombs, which are going to be really nice. At least they come back pretty fast. Ooh, at least it broke the one. Still have to get used to these controls. Ooh, this year is Zelda's 35th anniversary year. Um, if you watch... What games do you think are going to be on that 35th anniversary selection when we get it? Oh, no. Um, if we get it. Sure seems like we're going to get it. I 
been seeing other places February 18th is kind of the oh I hurt myself it's kind of the big day for um, the Nintendo Direct for it so we'll see what happens hopefully what I just said is correct but it'd be really cool for me personally to see Ocarina of Time come back that is one of my all-time favorites um, Wind Waker I've heard which, I like Wind Waker. I'll definitely play that one. I can't say I've beaten that one. I, f I feel like I did on the Wii U. When they brought it to that. But I'm not really 100% sure. Um, I don't remember the ending. That's why I don't think I've beaten it. Oh no. I don't think that really does anything. We'll just skip that. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, getting off track here. But yeah, that'd be cool. And then, um, Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword. I never plays, played Skyward Sword. Um, but Twilight Princess I thought was really dark, and I, I kind of was digging that vibe from it. So hopefully that one is to come back too, because those would be... Ocarina of Time was my all-time favorite. We'll see after I'm done playing this one if I still think that, because I'm really digging this one so far. And from what I've played before, I really liked it. Um, but I didn't actually beat the full story, so. But yeah, even if those three games just come out, and then um, I heard something about Phantom Hourglass possibly too, which I didn't play any of the ones on DS's at all. So I have no idea. Um, I kind of, if they do, from what I've seen from the DS version of that game or whatever... Hopefully they do kind of like a Link's Awakening and they just like make it a little nicer. That'd be cool. Um, but hey, if they just port it, whatever. I think that'll still be cool to play something different, new. And um, hopefully all these games will be for the channel as well. That'd be awesome. We'll see though. Monster Hunter Rise is coming and I really like the Monster Hunter series. I played Generations Ultimate on the DS. I'm um, just none of the Zelda games. That, the shield, sword. I don't really want the arm. They break too fast. Oh, nice. Didn't have to pick it up. Yep. Too early. Um, but, yeah, it would be pretty cool. If a lot of those other games came to the Switch. Um, especially because I've played my Switch more than I've ever played um, a Wii or anything like that. So... It's been really fun to come back to this. Play some more on my Switch. Isn't there supposed to be a... Isn't there supposed to be a chest somewhere? Oh, right there. I completely didn't even look at it. I'm trying to talk and play video games at the same time. It's, it's a hard thing to do for me. I've never had to do that other than when I'm playing with my friends, you know? Ooh, Nintendo Switch shirt. Never trying to talk to an audience during the whole thing. Um, I guess if you're watching, let me know in the comments how I'm doing. Any feedbacks, good feedback. I'll take whatever I can get. I'm actually um, really excited about this game too, because um, just being able to go anywhere in the game. So once we really get through some of the story, which hopefully will just be my first few episodes, just really pushing and getting what I... The main area is kind of done, um, except for the um, mechan mechanical beasts, I think is what they're called. It's been a while. But basically trying to get like the main story done before then, then be able to th free roam, kind of be able to get some new and different um, armor sets, and getting those leveled up will be nice right away. Oh. Want that honey? Cursor B honey. Ooh. 
It'll be good for some. I don't know what it is going to be good for, but it'll be good for some. Got a restless cricket. Must have just been there already. Hmm. Cabin in the woods. I think the stamina wheel is cool and interesting. Oh, I'm excited that you can pick between heart vessels and stamina. I think that's pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to pick first, honestly. I always get to these parts of games and, like, overthink it. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I'll probably just pick stamina right away, because... That's just a big one for me. I like to be able to just get places. And climbing, too. Like, I, like, I just want to be able to climb up, get it done, and go. Skip through, you know, certain areas where I don't want to walk the path the whole time probably be help helpful getting shrines too but I know some shrines are combat shrines I forgot what they're called if it's the shrine of power or something like that shrine of skill but whatever there's a bunch of those in there and that's that's where the hearts would definitely come in handy stamina too but being able to stay alive will, a little longer so I don't die on camera a hundred times would be probably great so uh, yeah, we'll definitely see. Who knows? I'll probably overthink it through the whole, through the whole series. You'll see a lot of it. Hotlid, yeah, I don't want that. Super unnecessary. Spicy peppers. We're gonna use that to get. I remember that you have to get. Ooh. What do I drop for that axe? It's not brand new. That's brand new. Um, we have to make the peppers in a dish to stay warm in order to get up the mountain to get the warm doublet. We'll put two in with a couple mushrooms. Call that good. We'll cook that. Spicy fruit and mushroom mix. Nice. I only need it to give me three hearts because I only have three hearts. You know. I'm going to do this. Hold, hold. Another one. Basically the same thing. I think it'll just give me one less heart. Maybe a little less um, heat time as well. Or cold resistance as well. Yeah, just one less heart. So I'm good with that. That's nice. So I... Th I Looks like we can climb up that though. And get up to that shrine. Which I don't remember if I have taken this way before. Ooh, a Korok leaf? Nice. I can't pick it up right now, though. It's not really necessary to have yet. Not a huge deal. I want all these apples. All of them. Be taking hits like this because I can't figure out the targeting, the targeting system yet. Sweet. Oh, good thing it's the beginning of the game. Alrighty then. Can't pick that up. Should almost drop my club for that club. Ooh, what's up? Ooh, looks like a, a wall we can bomb. Yep. Oh, nice. I don't remember ever seeing that before. That's pretty cool. Fire arrows, I'll take it too. Never have enough arrows in this game. Alright, let's go climbing. See what we can 
see how good climbing we can do right now. Ooh. Jumping is dangerous. Be careful. What's the next one? Ooh, we'll get that mushroom too. Is it? That must be a rusher. I remember a lot of the items that I'm going to need for um, a bunch of the armor sets, but a lot of them I don't too. It's mainly the ones I use, like the rushrooms I'm pretty sure are going to be used for the climbing gear. Whereas the sunset fireflies are going to be for the sneaking suit. Um, I know... Is it the Hylian tunic or just the just the pants? Whichever pants you basically get first. Those not take uh, bokoblin horns and stuff like that. Um, but that'll be fun. First, we gotta get the great fairies though. That's gonna take money too. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what order I do this. Really want to go shrine hunting for a while too. Once we hit out of the great plateau, you know, I just want some more stamina and hearts before I just start going into these battles that I haven't played in a while and I don't remember how the enemies work you know and how to dodge and parry right yet so maybe just going around defeating things checking out certain areas getting shrines and um, areas unlocked right away might be a great idea but for right now it's just the great plateau oh that was a bad idea should have waited. A little premature. Just a little. Let's see, one. Oh, yeah. Get me right up there. Nice. This one, I'm pretty sure, is the Stasis Shrine. Oh, yeah. And how big this game is too, like just the huge world you get to explore is so cool. All the things you have to do to get through the world too. That's what I think is gonna make this series so fun. It's just the exploration, the time I'm gonna be able to put into it. It's gonna make it pretty awesome. Stasis, here we go. Oh crap, there it is. Stasis. Ooh, just in time. No, it wouldn't let me do it. It wouldn't let me do it. No. I should have kept running. I probably could have made it. I don't know why it wouldn't let me stasis. Is it not moving? You can't say not moving objects because that gear was moving. Unless it's like stationary objects. I don't know. That was tough though. I really thought I was going to be able to stasis it and it didn't work. Unless I had to wait for it to come, the time to come back for it, I guess. Maybe I just didn't notice. Yeah, that had to have been it. And it wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh! Just making her. Alright, we'll get this one. There we go. There we go. Just gotta be a little more patient. Gets tough sometimes. Oh, hammer, yes. 
Ooh, I gotta sneeze, excuse me. Ooh. What are we dropping, folks? This non-sparkly item right there. Let's see what only two does. Perfect. I'll take it. I almost blocked that though. I almost blocked the stair set here. It looked really bad at first. I'm like, oh no. I feel like everything in this game just makes you lose hearts and makes you take damage of some sort until you figure out the proper equipment for it. But, eh, that's the game. That's the fun of it. Gotta actually try and survive. Okay. Food. <clears throat> Dishes. Oh, here, six minutes to three minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I see. Now my cold resistance. Oh, whew. didn't die. That's the important part. Only got six minutes though, so really got to be careful. Mm. Any of them survive? Absolutely not. Perfect. Oh, we got a set of them over there too, though. I gotta see what they have. Don't want that. Yep. Don't really care about any of their items. The bow or the... The other two pieces. Gosh, why can't I think of that name? The clubs, yeah. Don't, I don't really, I got the club, I guess I'm good. I have to keep the hammer. I could probably get rid of one of the axes, but I don't really want to do that either. What is up here? Okay, we got this big guy up here. Let's see how this fight goes. I'm trying to use a little patience, but uh, we shall see. Boom. Big slap. Come on. Come on, big boy. Yeah, take that. That's what I want right there, the Spike Boko Club. But first... Just the horn? Just the horn? Come on now. Ooh. Ooh, I drop. Oh, man. And shields. Drop that thing. I want that. Uh, yeah, I'll just use one of the axes as a weapon. 
Two-handed weapons aren't so bad. I think it'll work out great. Ooh, amber. Here we go. Can never go wrong. Some emeralds. Some rubies, some sapphires. Any gems. Which are all perfect. Ooh, excuse me. Little burp. We only got two minutes. Man, this is just snowy. Does it take more stamina to run, too? Might. Can't really tell. Alright, let's see what's up this mountain. Man, without the paraglider, this is... Oof. Oh, hey, look at this guy. I enjoy gazing out the world from here. B -b 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 -br breathtaking. It's so cold. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map as a marker. Okay, okay, okay. You did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. Thank you, thank you. Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. Nice. Well, at least that's going to help a little bit. I assume you'll want to try it on right away, yes? I thought you might be eager to see how it looks. It's quite fetching. Eh, I don't know if it's going to look the greatest, but... Hey. There we go. Amber. Worst part is you can't just jump down. Like right here, I could just glide right over there right now. It'd be perfect. Just skip that right there. Gotta get this shrine. I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. That will be perfect. Throw that big sword. Wonder if it'd come back like a boomerang. It wouldn't, but that'd be so cool. Just woo -doo 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 -doo. I think would had some have some crazy force. Oh shit. Who do these guys think they are? Come here. Well, this guy's next? Okay. Come here. Ha ha ha. I think you stood the chance against me. You were wrong. Sadly mistaken. No horns or anything? Like, really? Am I missing them? Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh. There's a chest over there. Hmm. Oh, I missed the chest at the other one, too, didn't I? There's probably one over there, and I didn't even see it. An EX chest. Oh, there's that one. Yeah, we'll go down there in a second. Let me get this shrine first. Then we'll make our way back. Last shrine. What will it be? This one's gonna be the freezing, the 
um, ice block. Cryonis. Ah, see, I, I know what it is, though. <laughs> That's all that matters. Distilling rune. Okay. I'm still confused out as to how it distills a rune, but, you know, we'll go with it. It evaporates its information, and then it turns into a little water droplet. Then the information just gets scanned into your tablet. It seems like some crazy stuff to me. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Alright, deal. That'd be cool. There we go. Eyeball. I had to get faster at that. That. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I get. Spear. Ooh, yeah. I'm actually gonna probably pass on that. It's sad, but I have enough weapons right now, I guess, to make make it through. Ooh, excuse me again. Alright. Last shrine completed in the Great Plateau. Why, thank you. Loading screens, at least they give you like little tips on things to do. That's really nice. Monsters sometimes leave their weapons lying around their camp. Like, cool. Thank you. I really dislike that this guy calls me a hoe. I really, really dislike that this guy calls me a hoe. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Why? Okay. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines will cross, there, I will be waiting. Okay, thank you for reiterating. Cool. All right, we're gonna get this chest down here. This seems like a terrible decision. I didn't know if jumping that was gonna be the safest bet, so I didn't. Ooh, bomb arrows, those are always nice to have right away. Okay, we'll go right here. Wait, where the shrines intersect? Right here. Okay. So we have to go to the Temple of Time. Perfect. Let's go get this done. Well, alright everybody, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode today. Thank you very much for tuning in, and have yourself a great evening, night, morning, wherever you are, wherever you're at, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, thank you for, so much for tuning in. Um, tune in again for episode 3 of The Great Plateau, that'll be us getting off of here and starting the main quest. Um, 
it's going to be some super a super fun time and um, very exciting. Uh, this is Jonesy signing off. Thank you. Catch you next time.